This is Andrew Stotts of A. Stotts Investment Research talking about world-class benchmarking for Geely Automotive, Automobile Holdings Limited in China. Mm, this is listed on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. Let's get a little background on the company. First, Geely Automotive Automobile Holdings Limited, founded in 1986, is a Chinese manufacturer of passenger cars, SUVs, and motorcycles. The company is the owner of Volvo and plans to add another brand, Link and Company, in 2017. It is the second largest car manufacturer in China, with around 97% of its cars being sold domestically. The company's market capitalization is 8.7, almost 9 billion US dollars, and it's got a free float of 54%, which means average daily volume is about 74 million US dollars. And it's got a 1.6 beta, meaning it's very volatile relative to the market. And if we look at what's going on, Geely's Automobile Holdings Limited is 42% owned by Zijiang Geely Holdings Group. Its portfolio consists of 30 models from low, medium to medium segment sedans, such as New Vision and GC9 and the premium M Grand series, two creations for the recently fast expanding van sector. The company's sales network comprises 1,000 dealers and 1,000 service stations across China and 540 sales and service stations in 43 countries. Most of the vehicles are sold in-country, meaning in China, with a small portion of exports going mostly to Saudi, Sri Lanka, Belarus, uh, Cuba, and Egypt, which together stood for more than 81% of its total exports. The purchase of Volvo cars by Zijiang Geely, uh, Holdings Group for 1.8 billion in 2010 was the biggest foreign car acquisition in China and by a Chinese firm. Since then, it has launched plants in China and the collaboration began. The company's commitment to new energy vehicle strategy, which was announced in November 2015, this will leverage on Volvo's experience, expertise to produce electric and hybrid cars and to achieve 90% of sales from this type of cars by 2020. And let's check the sales breakdown as of first half 2016. The M Grand Series sedans accounted for 38% of sales. New Vision and GC9, 33%, and Vans at 15. The cars sold by geography, well, 96% were in China. Now let's check out the company's world-class benchmarking score since we know what they do. First of all, we start with the chairman of the company, and the chairman started in June of 20, 2005, Mr. Li Shufu, and we can see that the CEO has been there since 2006, Mr. Gui Shenjui. And if we look at this, what we can see is that uh, the profitable growth has been stable at number four, except for a drop to number six in 2014. It's ranked among the best 496 of 1,240 large consumer discretionary companies. Profitability is above average, but growth has been ranked at number two since 2015, so good improvement there. Asset utilization is relatively poor at an eight. Profit margin is strong at a three. Sales growth has been the biggest driver. It's ranked at a number one, and margin change is good at a number three. Want more? Well, just sign up for our free newsletter and get access to more investment knowledge at becomingbetterinvestor.net slash join. See you there.